Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom, man. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadesh. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, do, teach well, being a great example to us, brothers. And peace and many blessings to the hopeful elect of Israel scattered abroad, man. It's your brother, Zakar, coming to you. Uh, Romans 7, uh, Romans chapter 7, verses 14. And I just want to read through this because it's talking about sin. It's talking about how, 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 you know, the apostle was going off pretty much. You know, he, he didn't mean to go off, but it was sin that dwell within him. You know what I'm saying? Like us brothers, we go through stuff every day. Like we might forget it's the Sabbath or something. We might uh, <laughs> hurry up and take a bite out of a sandwich or something over your parents' house or, or this, that, and other. Let me have a piece of this, that, and other. Oh, it's pork in it, all this, you know, all types of just things happening to us, man. You know? And um, the main thing, the main thing I want to get out of this is is that we make a lot of mistakes and stuff, and, and sometimes we get down on our, ourselves. But it was, uh, you know, it's the Lord that that he, that's going to uplift us. That's we got to remember the word of the Lord, man, because you know we're going to go off, man. You know, we're not perfect. The only one that was perfect was Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? And this just be an exhortation, pretty much, you know, to brothers out there that, you know, don't 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 uh, wallow in your sins, man. You know, you you look. You look at the stuff you did before you came into the truth, and then you just, you got to, you got to do that. You got to look at that. You'd be like, damn, man, like the Lord actually brought me into this after I did all that. You got to have faith and trust in the Lord, man. You know, I did this. I did all these things, and the Lord still loved me. Like, are you serious? When we come into that time. It's got to be huge faith, man. But this is uh, Romans 7 and 14. Uh, actually, I'm going to start down a little bit. It says, uh... Actually, just start from the beginning. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal. All of us are carnal, man. Okay? Sold under sin. Sold under sin. How are we sold under sin? So let's go back to, let's go to uh, Revelations chapter 8 real quick, because I just was reading this. And this is one of my favorite scriptures, man. It's one of my favorite scriptures, man. Romans 8. And I'll start at, uh, I'll start at 18. It says, but the point is in 20. Let me just go straight to the point. I'll start at 19. It says, for the earnest expect, let's start at 18. Forgive me. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Because we go through it all the time, man. We sin all the time. Okay, we're not perfect as heck. We're not perfect as, we can't, we, we, we go off without even knowing it, man. It might be pork in your shampoo. Hey, a pork raining down from the water that's in the damn you know, you, you never know, man. Pork, pork, pork everywhere, man. These damn devils, they've accomplished a diligent search. So they're able to to put pork and put things in, things that make us go off, they're able to put it into different things, man. Okay? They're able to do that, and then they go, like the book of Habakkuk says, uh, uh, woe to him that giveth his neighbor drink, you know what I'm saying, and, and look up on their nakedness. So they go to the heavenly father these damn edomites and these heathens they're like look 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 what they're doing look what they're doing they're going off there's pork in that shampoo there's uh liquor stores on every corner there's drugs in in the hood we put drugs in the hood and they they took them they took them we we made them in the lab and all of a sudden it came into the neighborhood so we go off all the time okay as a people as a nation but us brothers just coming to this truth okay you know we're seeing these things and at first it's real sweet in your mouth, you know what I'm saying? Then it gets real bitter in your belly, like the scripture says. And it's like, damn, why do I keep going off? Damn, why can't I do this? Why can't this why, why can't this person understand? Uh, just all types of things. And it gets bitter after that, man. But my point in this lesson right here is exhortation. Like the sins that we do commit, man, hey, we gotta we gotta give it to the Lord. We can't, we can't, you know, because sometimes, you know, lately, just a personal testimony, I've been wallowing. And whatever that means, you know, and, and sins that I've committed in the past and sin, things that I've done. And I'm like, dang, man, you know, I hope the Lord forgive me. But the thing is, you got to go extra hard for the Lord. And I got to go hard. I got to go harder for the Lord, man. You know, the spirit has not been on me to to, to, to do this or to do that. And, to, and that's the Lord punishing me, man, whooping my butt. 
you know, and it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord to the point where I'm like, I'm, I'm afraid. I'm afraid every day, man, you know, and then I, but I still go off. <laughs> I'm afraid, but then I still go off, man. The scriptures say to uh, rejoice with trembling, man. So I'm happy that the Lord is, you know, forgiven me for that past. Maybe he's not going to, and maybe he is, but that's not for me to, you know, what's for me to do is to try my best to do the best that I can for the Lord, man. And get back in the spirit of things, man. Okay? And the Lord, the Lord, the Lord will break you down. He'll take the spirit away from you for a while. You won't be able to do a video or anything, man. If you if you stray away from the shepherd, you have a shot. You stray too far away, okay? You, you, you're not reading as much. You're not, um, you know, taking notes as much. Because I remember it was a time when I, every time I see a brother, especially the apostles or something, I'm taking notes writing different verses down trying to compare them to other stuff you know when i especially when i first came into the truth you know but then you slack off and stuff and think you know something but you don't know nothing man we don't know anything man you know get confounded out there on the highways and hedges because you didn't eat the whole roll type of stuff like that man that's going off man you know and we don't want to do those things we want to please the lord man with the portion that he gave us man you know it says romans 8 Forgive me for my uh, rant, man. I really apologize, man. I just got a lot to say. It's been, I got so much to say, man. And it may not all, in the end, it's going to connect together, man. Lord willing. It says, verse 19, for the earnest expectation of the creature. Who's the creature? Everything the Lord created, especially especially us, us Israelites, man. The earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. The sons of God, who is them? The, the saints of the Lord, the Israelites, man. Okay, his holy people. Here's the point. It says, for the creature, us, the sons of God, and it's, we're waiting for the manifestation because after the manifestation of the sons of God, after we get that power, after the Lord come back, man, the earth's going to be an Eden again, man. It's going to be it's going to be a, 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 a beautiful place, man. You're going to be able to breathe, actually. You're going to be able to have water that don't have forever chemicals and stuff in it, man. You're going to be able to eat good venison, good foods, man, good meats, good veggies, man, without them, you know, being cursed, man, with the curse that the Lord put up on the earth, okay? The fruits and the veggies don't yield forth their strength. You know, you, we eating foods, man. You know, you got McDonald's, Taco Bell, like all types of processed food everywhere, heart attacks every single day, every second. Okay, we're living in hell right now. It says, for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God, man. Everybody is waiting to, 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 for the earth to rejoice again. The earth is very sad. And here's the point. It says, for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope. And that's the whole point, man. Okay, who is him? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai and Heavenly Father, Yahweh, okay? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The, 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 the author and finisher of our faith, Yahweh Shai, man, our big brother. He has subjected the same in hope. All right, yeah, you're going to be born into this sin, sinful body. Okay, you're going to have to learn righteousness as you go through th throughout this wickedness, man. But I got hope in you. I got faith in you that you're going to be able to do it, man. The Lord got faith in us, man. Okay? Lord got faith in us, man, and you know, he, he'll whoop your butt and he'll take the spirit away from you. You got to pray it back and Lord willing, you don't do the same things over and over again or else he's going to judge you and you're going to be destroyed, man. You know, what I'm learning about the Lord is, hey, man, he going to, he going to whoop, he going to get some, he going to get his respect, man. He going to whoop that ass and you're going to respect him. He, he, he going to do it in a, in a way that you're going to know that he's doing it, man. You know, you ain't nobody else but the Lord messing me up. Okay. But he has faith in you, man, and he whoops our butts because he has faith in us. It's like, just like it says, it says, for the creature was made subject to vanity. Subject to vanity. That means that you can't even help it to go off. Let's look at the inner liner real quick. What's that mean? Let me turn this car off. I got a little bit of heat. I ain't got too much gas in there. And I apologize. Um, the setting's a little darker. I need to get back on these these scriptures man subject let's look at the inner liner i might not be able to look at it because I, I ain't got the internet out here let me look at it and let me look at it in the um etymology let's see if we can find out what the etymology says about this word subject 
Subject, person under control or dominion of another. Yeah, we were subject, under control of the Lord. To go off, to sin. But by reason of that hope that he, he has hope. Just think of that, man. <laughs> Our Lord having hope in us, man. He got hope. He has faith. And that word hope goes into faith, man, pretty much. It says a uh, person under control or dominion. So we don't have no control. We have no control since we came into the world, man. It was all the Lord. A subject, person, or thing, specifically a government or ruler. It's not going to let me go into it. I don't want to. Oh, it did. To place under, throw under, bind under, bind. And we're bound in these sinful bodies, in this sinful flesh. We're bound in this sinful. I hate this flesh, man. I wake up every day, man. You know, I'm thankful that I wake up. And then I always feel like, man, I'm here in this stupid flesh, you know, this messed up teeth, messed up this, messed up, you know, back messed up, all types of, you can't, you know, you go to the doctor and stuff, you know, they don't, they don't even know how to do anything anymore. They just trying to kill you, man. You're scared to go to the doctor. You might not make it out. They might tell you you got cancer or something. Okay. So people are just sitting up in their houses, really just, you know, dying slowly. They don't even know what they got. Cause they scared to go to the damn doctor, man. You know, but it, you know, it, it, we're made subject to vanity, subject to go off, subject to sin, subject to have these these crazy thoughts in our brains sometimes, man. It'd be the devil playing around with you and have a, you have a thought. You'd be like, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm trying to think of something else. Hurry up and think of something else. Sorry, Lord. I automatically pray to the Lord. Forgive me for that thought, Lord. Subject to vanity for the creature was made subject to vanity, man. OK, subject to vanity, not willing to. But by reason of him, Yahweh shot. And the Heavenly Father, our big brother and our Heavenly Father, okay, who have subjected the same in hope, okay? You see? And we're all we're all in pain right now. I said, I'll skip down to 22. It says, For we know that the whole creation, everything the Lord created, groaneth and travaileth in pain. That word pain, man. We hate this place. Everything is groaning. Everything is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Everything is waiting for our Lord, Yahweh Shah, to return to the earth, man. Because when he returned, he purged this mug with the bism of destruction. Okay. The, hey, the, heaven, the Heavenly Father going gonna to let, let his son, you know, and, 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 and the brothers, the 144,000, man, he going to let us rule, man. Lord willing, we are part of that. Lord willing, I'm a part of that. Okay, he gonna let let us rule in righteousness, man. Made a subject to sin and go off to fight our way to righteousness. It's a fight, man. You know. <laughs> Let's go back to uh, Romans seven, man. You know, this is just through the Spirit exhortation. So the basically my point is, man. Hey, hey, man. You know, we don't mean to go off, but let's finish this real quick. It says now, Romans seven and sixteen. It says if then I do. That which I would not, subject to sin, man. <laughs> I consent unto a law that is it is good. Now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me, man. From the very birth. From, from when we came out between our mother's, you know, legs, man. And hit the ground and started crying like King Solomon said. Um, we were subject to sin. Our mother was a sinner. She she born us into sin. You know, as we grew up, we started sinning and going off and doing all types of just, you know, we we we're subject to this body of sin and death, this body of death that the apostle uh Gabar always goes into. You know? It says um verse 18, for I know that in me that is in my flesh in this I this flesh right here, man, this subject, that's why you're subject to sin. Because you're inside of a sinful body. That's why we need those new bodies, man. I think about it every day, man. And I pray to the Lord every day, like, Lord, please help me to stop going. Like, you do stuff, you're going off and you're going off, man. I'm like, damn, I did it again. I did it again. Like, what the heck, man? And, 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 and it'd be something simple, man. You know, it's like, damn. And I forgot the Sabbath. I didn't eat. I didn't cook already. Oh, damn. 
You know, that's why it's important to stay close to the shepherd, man. Stay close to Yahweh Shai, man. Because these bodies, man, this, <laughs> this body got a mind of its own, man. It just goes towards things. It does things that it wants to do. It don't care nothing about what you want for it, man. You know? We got to take care of ourselves, take care of our mentals, man, and know that, hey, this ain't our risk. This body ain't our risk. We're going to have new bodies soon, man. You know? And apostle, the apostle knew it. He's like, yo, man, like, let me read it again. Romans 7 and 18, for I know that it, in me, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. There ain't nothing in this body that's good, man. For to will is present with me. To do good is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. Man, call halayim laya will buy shimmy of shy, man. You see? So you're not alone out there, man. Exhortation. Hey, you fall down, get back up, man. You know, you, you go off and you do this, that, and the other. Hey, man, you just pray to the Heavenly Father to let you not do that anymore, man. And whatever it is, it's a part of your walk to, to like you said in the Romans 8. Subject to sin, man, by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope, man. And what's that hope? That hope that you would get there past the finish line, man. That hope that you would actually know the difference between righteousness and wickedness. That hope that you would obey, okay, eventually and, and, and come on home, man. Lord tell you, hey, I'm proud of you, man. You beat it. You you won. You won against all them demons. That's our hope. That's what the Lord's hoping for us. Because he, he gave us the power, this word, to beat the demons, man. And it's mostly demons, man. <laughs> they, be, they be laughing and having a little laugh. Like, hey, I got him. I got him again. I got him again. But the Lord has faith in us that we can win, man. We can win these battles, these little battles, these big battles. It's always a battle every single day, especially with this flesh, man. You know, it says, verse 19, for the good that I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do, man. I know brothers go through that all the time. It's like, come on, man. Especially like new brothers in the truth. But now that, you know, I'm learning this a little bit more, I'm, I'm starting to figure out like, Hey, we always going to be sinners, man. We are, Until our Lord come and, and save us from this untorn generation, from this horrible body, plus whatever we did in our past, man. We don't, we don't know what we did in our, our past. Like, you know, we have, you know, you have thoughts sometimes like, man, I must have been a horrible person in my past. If I'm getting messed up this much in this life, because we know reincarnation exists. Then you'd be like, man, if I, I'm getting messed up this much, man, I must have did some bad stuff to get this kind of punishment, man. You know, and you don't blame it on nobody else besides yourself, man, even though you don't know what you did. That's why we're supposed to, the Lord has faith in us that we right, we walk righteously these days, man. Okay? And, and sometimes, you know, the, your body wins. We got to win against the body, man. I speak first and foremost. That's why I, I'm speaking this right here, because, you know, I got a lot of things I got to win against, man. We got to start winning these battles, man, you know? This guy start winning these battles, and then so the Lord be like, "Hey, I'm proud of you, man. You won, man. You, I, I, you know, I let the devil, cause, cause that's what, that's what it. Just like whenever the devil asked the Lord to tempt Job, man. You know, they had a bet, and go down, and he, he the Heavenly Father told Satan that, uh, yeah, you know. Matter of fact, let's just go to that real quick. I got a few seconds. I got a few minutes. But basically, the point is, man, that, hey. We subject in these bodies, we subject to sin, but the Lord loves us. He, he He's going to, he's going to make a way for us. What does the scripture say? Uh, reminds me of a scripture that says something, like, roughly paraphrasing. Um, what's that scripture say, man? So basically the Lord, hey, he, he'll provide a way to escape, you know? That's why we must stay close to the shepherd, man, because the more demons you got dwelling you know, around you. That's why the scriptures say, keep your eye single, man. Keep your eye on your how about shimmy, how shy. Does your eye be single? Then you, you know, the demons going to try to get you, man, but they know they ain't going to be in a mess with you, man. But living in this flesh in this horrible, horrible, wicked world, man. 
You know, it, it it gets tough sometimes, man. Especially if you only like a year in the truth, two years in the truth, three years, four years, five years. It gets tough for you, man. You know, the, our elders and apostles have, are, are well seasoned, well, um, what's the word, man? Well oiled, man. You know, <laughs> they, 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 they engines been, you know. Lord been rebuilding their engine, so so hey, they they should keep keep on going. But you sitting there putting, pl 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 barely got some gas. I know how it feels, man. You know, but the Lord got us, man. And he gonna let the devil. He gonna let the devil do certain things to us sometimes, man. This is uh Job two, and uh. I started one. It says again, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, Yahweh, and Satan came also among them to present himself, man. So Satan up there in the, in the heavens with, with the heavenly father, man, doing exactly what he tells him to do. Nothing, nothing more, nothing less, man. You know, and it says, and the Lord said unto Satan from whence comest thou? Because Satan works for the Lord. And Satan answered, the Lord and said from going to and fro in the earth and walking up and down in it, man, up and down in the earth, walking up and down in the earth, pushing evil, doing this, doing that. Killing, murdering, putting spirits on different people to get the will of the Lord done. Everybody think they should fear Satan. Now you need to fear the Lord, man. This world don't got enough fear of you. How about Shimmy I was shot? And it says, and the Lord, verse three, said unto Satan, has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth, the, feareth God and escheweth evil, and still he holdeth fast his integrity, although thou movest me against him to destroy him without a cause. Okay, so here, here we got a, a situation when our heavenly father and Satan is having a bet like, hey. And you, you remove your hand from him, and then I, I bet you he'll curse you. That's what Satan told the Lord. I bet you he'll curse you to your face. You see? But, you know, see, that's what we go through sometimes. We go through certain situations like that, man. We go through certain t situations, whatever. Lord, let Satan do certain things to us. Take certain people away from us. Put us in certain situations. You might be homeless all of a sudden. You might uh, not have a vehicle, walking miles and miles to work every single day. You might uh, have have an addiction or something, or some kind of something that you can't get away from. It something just uh, messing you up, man. But you know the Lord has hope in us that we can beat these things, man. That we can beat Satan in this battle, man. Okay, you know whenever Satan took the Lord up to that high pinnacle, he won the war. He won right there, man. You know Satan trying to give him the, uh, all the world, and that's how you know that Satan runs the world, man. He he tried to promise our Lord. Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, he tried to promise him the whole world, man, if he only bowed to him. Okay? So we got to win these battles, man. You know, but it's not going to be easy, man. We got to constantly fight. Constantly fight against our flesh, man. That's our number one enemy, man. That's basically what this exhortation is about, man. You know? You're not the only one going through it, man. You know? Other brothers is going through it. You're not the only one, man. You know? Brothers, brothers are fighting hard, man. You wouldn't be able to you wouldn't even understand how hard brothers are actually fighting to stay in the spirit, man. <laughs> you have no idea, man. It's easy. It's easy to, <laughs> you know, turn YouTube on and look at brothers and their videos. But whenever they turn that video off and they in their life, man, you know, brothers are fighting extra hard, man. That's why the scriptures say, uh, these are they that stood so stiffly was that second address for the word of the Lord, man. You know, because they, they're going to be crowned. I'm getting I'm getting chills by just saying it, man. You know, because when those cameras go off, man, when brothers is by themselves in their house or anything like that, man, you have no idea, man. But basically, man, you know, Romans 7 and uh, 19, it says, For the good that I would, I do not. You know, constantly doing this, constantly standing in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? If you can, the good are 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 are, are constantly uh just looking out for people, you know, giving alms, uplifting a brother, okay, keeping in good health. That's the biggest thing, keeping in good health. It says that I it says for the good that I would, I do not. 
but the evil which I would not that I do, man. It's, it's so easy to get caught up in sin in this flesh, man. But the Lord has hope in us, man. He has hope in us. It says, now, if I do that, what I would not, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. And we're subject to the sin. We're subject to vanity, man. You know, that's what I call the, I call the lesson pretty much, man. Romans 7, subject to vanity, even though that's in Romans 8. But anyway, man, I got to get back in here, man. Shalom. Hopefully this message was edifying. All praises on and glory to you. How about Shemi Shai, man? By Shimmer Karkadush. And uh, hopefully I can get some more videos out to you guys, man. And, you know, I, I, I really I, I apologize. And I, you know, I want brothers to know that, hey, man, you know, sometimes there's no excuses, really, man. Sometimes the Lord will whoop your butt, man. And sometimes you got to, you know, you got to man up. You know, I got a lot of manning up to do, you know, and fight this damn body, fight this evil, this evil that's within me, man. Like, like we just read, man. You know, that which I would would do that I I don't even do the good and then I do the bad. Like all of us are going a lot of us are going through those type of things, especially in these days, man. You know? And if you are, you're not the only one, basically, man. And you know, it, this is a race and we gotta we gotta fight, man. What the scriptures say, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. Kiss the son lest he be angry. So with that man, all praise on the glory to you. How about you, Shai? Shalom.